Adam from Dead Cactus Labs here with another tip related to the Pico Tracker. Let's say you watched our previous video on updating the firmware of your device, but for whatever reason, you're unable to get the Pico Tracker to mount to your computer. Two things you should try. Number one, try alternative USB cables. Seriously, just because a cable works for other stuff does not mean it will work reliably for this case. Number two, we can leverage the boot select button on the Pico Tracker PCB to force it into a mode to flash the firmware. While looking at the underside of the Pico Tracker PCB, you will notice a momentary button just below the power switch. This is our boot select. Pico Tracker cases should have a hole in the bottom that aligns with this button. You'll notice here that an unfolded paper clip fits in this hole. Gently push the paper clip in, and you should feel the switch click when you make contact with it. If you do not feel that click, ensure your paper clip is straight and try again. Once you can reliably get the click, it is time to get the device connected. Now we connect the Pico Tracker to the computer with a USB cable. Do not power the Pico Tracker up yet. Next, we'll take the paper clip to press in the boot select button. While holding the button down, turn the Pico Tracker on. The Pico Tracker screen will stay dark but the device should appear as an external drive, ready for you to copy a new firmware file over to it. For additional details on finding the firmware file to download, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. To learn more about the Pico Tracker, check out the Zephonics website or the Pico Tracker Discord. If you're looking for parts to build a Pico Tracker for yourself, check out our shop on Etsy. Thanks for watching.